Hey guys, today I'll show you how much effect does color grading have on automotive rendering. Color grading was an aspect that I underestimated for a very long time and I paid my price for that. Uh, so I don't want you to make the same mistake as I did. Uh, let's get started. This rendering I did back in 2020 during the COVID and so far I think this is the best piece of portfolio that I have right now. And it took me like three weeks to complete this scene. Everything was done like in a very detailed manner. Uh, everything was done yeah, using Quixel mixer, uh, substance paint to texture, texture the car. If you look closely, you will see some small details that give us a lot of realism to the scene, especially uh, when you're doing a 4K rendering. I have got some scratches here. I've got some color transitions. Uh, many, many small details. Uh, and it took me like three weeks in a flow state to finish this uh, scene. Let me show you how many shots I've got there. So here you can see how many different shots and tests I did. It's like, it was like over like 40, if I'm correct. And it took me a long, long time to get a, a perfect camera shot. I basically iterated a lot before I got to this uh, final shot. But the thing is that the render itself from the frame buffer was not that good. I used F-Storm for this particular shot, for this particular scene. I like F-Storm. I will uh, explain why I, li I like uh, F-Storm in later videos. But for automotive, F-Storm does its magic. Uh, but anyway, it was not that good in the frame buffer. Uh, so let me show you what was the final output of the image. This was the output uh, from 3ds Max and it looks very, very dull. Despite the fact that we have a lot of details here, it still looks like very dull. And color grading does its magic because you do a very very small amount of adjustments and you basically change the whole emotional side of the image just by playing with the colors so the first thing that i did is i i always save my renders in tiff and i use camera row to adjust it so basically i went to camera row i adjust a little bit of exposure i adjusted the shadows played with clarity to pop up these details and textures. Uh, that was the first thing that I did. Uh, let me show you step by step. Okay. So this was the frame buffer, uh, sorry, this was the camera row output. This was the adjustment of shadows. I added a little bit of blue in midtones and I added a little bit of blue in the shadows as well. The second part was the curves that I played with. Uh, to understand the curves, you need to understand the graph itself. So the, this curves graph represents shadows, midtones and highlights here. Basically, these are the uh, three parts of the image, and this is the value. The vertical axis is the value of, uh, of each, if each pixel in that part. Uh, so what I did, I didn't play with the uh, overall exposure. I played with R and G and B uh, channels just to add a little bit of, just to decrease the little bit of redness in the scene. You see, I have, uh, I have, uh, a red tint all over my play all over the place so i decrease the red tint uh, i add a little bit of green see I, I add a little bit of green and simply i add i added a little bit of blue uh, that combination gives me a depth when i have a blue here and i have a green a yellow here blue here it gives a contrast uh, thus, it gives a lot of depth to the image, so it won't look that flat. And basically, that's it. I decreased the brightness a little bit uh, in the camera row filter again, and that's it. And also, uh, I uh, 
painted this water, this turquoise blue color because I like it. It gives also a contrast and this tropical feeling to the image. And, and that's it, nothing else. So it took like 10, 15 minutes to get this color, color correction done. And it basically changed the whole feeling and the whole perception of the image. So you need to remember that it's always good to do a little bit of color correction at the end. I always believed that a true like 3D artist should get everything done in 3D scene, 3ds Max or Unreal Engine, because it it shows how much like technical knowledge you have in in, in the subject. But you you gotta remember that the the end goal of the image is to or the video is to give emotions to the users so if color correction helps you doing it spend five or ten minutes and simply do your color correction and it will change the whole thing in a matter of seconds okay guys so this video was short today and let me know what else you would like to know in the comments below